Y'all, what up? It's Eclipse from Team Ruthless. Ecast episode four. We got the homies Vice and the homie Business Only, my first guest on the series. How y'all doing tonight? Look like a, looking like a model, baby. That's how I'm doing. Lamb. How you doing, Lamb? <laughs> Lamb. 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 <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I forgot. We got to start every episode with the gaming question. So, my gaming question to y'all, are y'all getting the new consoles? At launch. Honestly, no. I'm saying no, I'm waiting, but I, I see we have the topic about the PS5, so I'm gonna wait before I uh, before I continue that. Word up, word up. Uh you uh why is you getting it at launch? At launch? Absolutely not. Absolutely nope. not, because I don't wanna have to deal smart. with people. They're gonna <laughs> piss me off. I don't have to I don't have to <laughs> fight somebody on Black Friday. I'm not into like the getting run over at Best Buy for, for no reason. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna go ahead and wait. I don't care. I, like if it sells out at like you know midnight, the day comes out, I'll be fine because there's no games that come out with the launch that I'm too pressed to play right now. I feel you. Yeah, I feel you. That's reasonable. What about you? I'm not fucking with that shit because <laughs> everything <laughs> I can, everything coming out that I'm remotely interested in, or like it's coming out on my PC. So I'll be playing. I play it on PC. Um, I know my boy Carlos was saying that the consoles, probably both of the consoles are really uh, a lot more stronger than my motherfucking PC, but I don't really care about top graphics. I don't have a 4K TV anyways, so I can't take advantage mm -hmm. of either thing. And I have a 4K desktop, so like, it really don't matter to me. So I'll be waiting. So uh, everybody in the comments, let me know if you're getting it or not. But, uh, yeah, it better be no if you're smart. Shit. I feel like most people, I feel like unless you a content creator and you got, we got money, bro. And you gonna make, <laughs> like, and uh, there's something you really, really want, like, there's really no point of getting it at launch. Um, so let's move on to the topics. So, first let's topic is Starfield to be single player only and it's supposed to be bigger than Oblivion. Do y'all care about that shit? Well,. I haven't really played an open world game from uh the state of well I know I probably said it wrong is it the state of best yeah, yeah state best, best set of, I don't know I don't I don't all right I know I don't from the bees <laughs> them dudes it's them been dudes a over, there. Played, over there <laughs> <laughs> like, I played Morrowind so Morrowind for the Xbox like it was actually a pretty big game at its time and then like as I said you know the jump from the engine from Morrowind to Oblivion is a huge jump and if it's saying that it's, saying it's even bigger than that kind of jump onto a new console i can only imagine because they're saying they want the npcs they um they're more interactive with the environment so i can only imagine what they'll start doing now they might start remembering what you say to them what you do to them or they just they don't feel like robots you know because remember when um we played assassin's creed on the ps3 when it first came out like how when you moved in the environment like yeah. people actually started looking different yeah yeah but yeah, I, i'm interested it's in space too I'm not gonna lie, I'm focused on your shit right now, and you're, like, you're just like floating head in the motherfucking dark. That shit, <laughs> that shit is lit, bro. <laughs> Yo, I'm a, I'm, I'm the light skin boo. Yo, light skin warrior, fucking shining in the dark right now. Um, oh, yeah, look, I don't really care like too much about this game though. Like, I, I'm, I have my eyes on it because I'm into like space games, space travel, Star Wars, all that shit. But right. I gotta see some gameplay until I see gameplay. Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, yeah, that's that's how you should always like approach it, especially with like games where they overpromise. Because look at things like Anthem and stuff like that. Like, yeah, you go overpromise on a lot, but if you don't deliver, it's not really gonna matter. Right. So uh, that game flopped. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and this ain't in the topics, but they're they're talking about re. Um, they've been talking about it for a while, but they're like remaking that game or whatever, or relaunching it. I don't know what they're putting on, but I think they need to call it a wrap. I'm gonna just. Yeah. I mean, no more. Some... Exactly. Right. The next motherfucking topic is T uh, TMNT skins are now in Smite. I think that's pretty cool. I love to see TMNT shine. Um, am I gonna get the skins? No, <laughs> but I think it's cool. <laughs> I, was yeah. thinking, no, I spent the money on the God Pass in Smite, and that's it. I've never spent another dollar in the, on that game again. 
Not that but, I don't um, like it or not that it don't deserve it. It just I'm not spending money on costumes. Well, I feel you on that, bro. Cause I haven't spent money at all when I per played the game. The guy yes. paid enough. I'm like all the gods by just grinding it out. You remember those days? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh my god. But like the skin is kind of cool. You know how they had the Avatar one from before with yeah. Korra and Aang and them. That like that was pretty nice, unique. It's it's. It's definitely cool to have the ability to play with Mikey Leonardo, but at the end of the game, at the end of the day, it's, you know, it's still Smite. It's like, you know, you're still going to rage, you're still going to have, you know, those, uh, what do they call it? They call it AIDS. We got those players that's just <laughs> bickering and just want to, just want to smack them up online and stuff, but it's a good game. Will I start playing it again? No, because I know what's going to happen. <laughs> I'm yep. going to live my life. Going to disappear so, on us for another three months. Yo, bro. <laughs> I actually, it wasn't even three months. It was actually it was like yeah. almost a year. This is bro, a year, year, man. This dude yeah. was not existing for like, yo, bitch, you want to go out? Nah, what you doing, Smite? <laughs> always the answer, bro. No matter what time, too. It could be six o'clock. Smite in the like morning. baby. Smite. Yo, twelve o'clock. Smite like baby. Smite. Yo, nine o'clock at night. Smite. What are you doing? My boys. Bro, I'm for real though. You, I play uh, with you're Mikey, probably the only like yo, you're probably the only one to buy every god in the game. Yep. Just, you know, without without yeah, spending real money. Just not without buying oh, the god pass. Like this nigga literally. Yo. Too. Free to play is free to play. <laughs> <laughs> I'll play for free. Yo, for <laughs> real. Right. What about you? Well, Ooh, me? I get it. Nah, nah, first of all, I don't even play Smite like that. Like like y'all. So, know. <laughs> so Y'all go ahead. Y'all y'all got fun. It's a cool <laughs> game, but I'm a, I'm over it. I'm burnt out on that shit. I feel it. That's why I stopped playing, man. Yeah, yeah. All right, next topic is uh, y'all probably won't care about this, but I do because you know Damon X Machina is my shit. But surprise update drop. Um, the anniversary update drop. It was mm -hmm. pretty lackluster, <laughs> which I thought mm. it was going to be. They they told us what they were going to give us. People were expecting more. I don't know why they were expecting more. Um, I was kind of hoping we get some balance updates, but we didn't get shit. And yeah, that's uh -huh. it. Like, and uh, the worst thing about it, the worst thing to me about the update though is that it doesn't work for a lot of the players, and it's kind of crazy. So for some reason, so they haven't you have a, the update. They haven't fixed it yet. They haven't even they haven't even acknowledged the update yet. As far as I'm aware. Wow. So yes, yeah, as far as I'm aware, like. If you have a, a save file before October, you can't access the new mission. So you have to join somebody else who can host the mission. Wow. And if you don't have online, you can't access it at all. Because you have to pay oh, for it in the online. So some people who had the game since then, been playing it since then, can't have uh can't do the mission. Um kinda sucks. Uh, it, Cause it's, it's cool that they gave us some content after a while, expect, especially when I was expecting nothing. But it kind of sucks that they did it so crappy. Like, how are you gonna do that to the hardcore fan base? Like, people are still playing. People are waiting for whatever. They just want another reason to play the game. And you're gonna drop an update, not acknowledge it. People just, just like cut the game on and saw a patch or whatever, and then it doesn't work for half the fucking population. Um, oh my god. Yeah, that's, that's like bad dev work. Know. That's, that's just, bad uh, dev work. Sound like, sound like some DCU shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and they were fantasy star online too. Remember for the Xbox? That was had different. It? That was different. It didn't work oh, on Xbox. It didn't work on PC. Oh, PC. My bad. It was PC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. Yeah, yeah. That my was beat, different because they were trying to fix it and. Yeah, had a lot of issues, but that was different. There was workarounds and stuff that people made. There's no real workaround for this, especially if you don't have online. Um, I mean, there is a workaround. You just gotta have friends or have uh, hit hit up the DXM Discord and ask someone. I don't post. have friends. Some people said that. <laughs> you're surprised, <laughs> like, you're surprised how many people say that shit on on video game like Reddit and shit. They were like, "Yo, I don't have friends to play with, so I don't want to play this game because I need friends." Like, I yo, feel you though. Just fucking, I get it, but uh, yo, add it's my tag. Twenty twenty. <laughs> There's so many ways to reach out to people. Like we don't even gotta Real be facts. friends. You could play with me. We don't even gotta be friends. You don't even gotta like me. Real facts. I play with people I don't like you, all the time. You, you brave. I, I ain't playing with people I don't know. I don't give a fuck, man. 
it's, it's, it's business, not, bro. As long as you're not a straight up asshole, and because I'm the asshole, we straight. <laughs> Especially annoying, bro. Like that really annoying loudness. Nah, mm. can't well, rock that. that. That in my rant. We moving on from that. Uh, Monster Hunter Rise. The dog and cat created this show. That dog is a straight up rip off of a repeat from uh, Tales of Vesperia. Which one? Is Vesperia. That? Yeah. All right. Vesperia. I forget which one. Other than that, the game looks cool, and I can't wait to see more. But I don't know. Let's see. If Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, no, I was just saying that. Yo, it's kind of cool how he can actually give the, the dog the scar like what Pete had. Because there's a scar, um, like a, um, a, a template set. And then he can make the dog look all pretty and stuff. Like, yo, why not, bro? Like, yo, I'm like, I'm like, what's a palico? Is that, is, is that thing yeah, that's, the cat? That's a cat. Yeah, but now you got the dog, you know, that's man's best friend. Like, you know, you chilling there, your puppy coming through. And it looks you know, pretty cute. cool. I'm not going to front. Even exactly. If they just stole the design from Repeat. It just shit looks lit. Repeat is a dope. Yeah. If you're going to steal, steal from the best. You know what I'm saying? Facts. <laughs> Look, all it's going to do is just add another 25 to 25 minutes to an hour of people just customizing something that they're only them are going to see. Yep. Oh no, yeah, so, you, can, yeah. you can bring that to you with online. You can bring that with you, your little dog. Mm. But yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. It's like all the little details that people aren't really going to look at. <laughs> Like yeah, yeah. I spent like two hours making sure this character's face looked exactly like mine, but you know, I'm nobody's gonna care. I'm trying to see what yeah, Rock like rocking beach. Yeah, yeah, bro. Let me see that. Let me see that gear set, bro. Level one, I'm good. <laughs> Get your rank up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, all right. Back, we're back on the PS5. So the PS5 uh -oh. is overheating in Best Buys. Or I think it only happened to one Best Buy. I do people think this is a um, like clickbait overreacting. Um, but I guess it, it possibly could be an issue because I don't remember that happening on, happening on PS4 drop. Um, and I guess it gives you like a little warning message when it happens. Like I don't know if it's like a huge deal, but. I mean, be wary and keep your fucking PlayStation out of hot spots and, and keep the fans free. I'm bro, I'm honestly, I, yo, you know what's crazy with my PS4, man? Like, as I play any game, even um the game that's like stored through the X and B menu, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Like my my fan just makes this loud whirring sound no matter what game I play. You can probably hear. I my feel fan like it's going to blow every, up. Every PlayStation game I play, you can probably hear my fan in every video. Yo, but that's what mine do, does, bro. But regardless, though, regarding the PS5, that's why I didn't get on a release date. You know, like, yeah, you know, it's going to work, but maybe that one out of how many PlayStations, you know, they may have a, a buggy one. People shouldn't panic too much. At the end of the day, I'm still not buying it because it's better to fix out all the kinks that comes with release date. And then what they always mm -hmm. wind up doing is they'll make a newer, more improved model, maybe, uh, maybe a little bit more uh, memory or... Maybe process just a tiny bit quicker for the same price. I'll just take that, and I feel like that's the better way to go. Honestly, when it comes to new console releases, it's like with new phones, always bugs. But you know, some people can deal with the bugs. Some people can't. Basically, a slim. Yeah, whatever slim version is coming out Thank after yeah. after that thing's been out for like a year and a half. I have the slim. Yo, version, I don't. Or I have a um, fixed version. Xbox we got like four versions, it's like. Now, like it's kind of crazy. PlayStation. You going for the digital? You get the digital one or the physical one? I'm not sure what I'll get when I cave. I'm probably gonna go digital, to be honest. Physically, I don't know yet. bro. Like, I haven't been in my mind. How long yet. have we been borrowing games from each other? How that's long? True, that's true. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, remember, yeah, remember, remember that? Digital now, anyways, though. Yeah, but we're bringing so? it back. <laughs> bring so it back. this. That okay. one time when you want to borrow like, the new Street Fighter, and then you was like, "Oh no, I only have it on digital." Oh well, thanks That's a lot, true. man. Thanks a lot. I might. Yeah, bro, I'm trying to borrow Mario Kart from him. He got it on digital. I was mad. I don't have Mario Kart. <laughs> I thought she was that. Oh, CJ that had Mario Kart on digital. Oh yeah. Oh, see, like these digital uh, yeah. fools, man. No, I do game have, sharing I do, mofos. I do have some games on digital though that you try to borrow. I don't remember which ones, but a lot of them. 
I'm mostly digital now, man. And I'm PC, bro, all my like, games PC, are physical, like, bro. Are my PC don't even have a disc drive. Yeah, so I'm, man. I'm converting more yeah. and more digital every year. Bro, he's he's losing himself, man. I'm digital. Don't you want a library? The digital no, games. I don't want a library. I used to want a library. It, it, I do be jealous of the people who got all the games lined up and they like. Oh, yeah, man, that thing, it looks I sick. Be I'm like, Yo, yeah, I cool. need a separate room for that, man. All the stuff they got, my like, bro, I need like a whole big basement just for the collection. I'm not gonna front though, yo. Digital games need some kind of discount. I don't care you know if the saying? console is hundred dollars. No, I should get a discount on each game. It should be like ten percent discount or something. You're yeah, not, you're saving, you're not, not paying for the manual. You're saving the money. I'm saving you money. Man, so help, so help you help me help you. So shouldn't that tell you you should get the physical disc instead of the digital one because nope. they're already charging you. you the same exact just price. Just like you, Chris. I don't like you. people. Sometimes just want to download it on the game. They, sometimes they don't charge me tax on digital. Sometimes it's just straight sixty. If I buy physical, they're gonna charge me tax. I gotta deal with people. Amazon. No. Nah, bro. You, first day you shit, can just have I it delivered to you. I get it at twelve o'clock well, every time. I gotta wait a whole day. Man. I gotta wait a whole day, and then I gotta no, get the don't. game. And then I still gotta download the update when I get the game. So it might be two you days. Still, yeah, work anyway though. You still working? Like the time you get off, it'll be there. Yeah, after yeah, by the time I get off, it'll be there. <laughs> if I gotta put the game in the disc. I gotta put the disc in the game in the console, and now I gotta wait for the update. That might have was just oh. as big as the digital version. So I should have just got the digital oh. version. I could have started that before I went to work, and got no, home, and then I would play. Nope, no, no, it's not no. working, bro. You got a wife; can't, she can can't. put that disc in for you. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, that is the worst. Like. Yo, every time you try to ask your girl, they're like, yo, yo, put the disc in for me. Like, yo, so the updates so I can play when I get home. And they're like, I think I did it. And then you get home and like, she did everything but hit. Like, do you want to download this The update? X button, right? <laughs> <laughs> I just like, yo, I feel it's, on okay. it's okay. It's okay. And she did that on purpose, bro. She set you up like, nah, you thought you was playing this. We spent a time together. Uh -huh. a movie. I'm like, it's okay. You did, you did what you could. But in my mind, I'm like, <laughs> My like, oh, oh, <laughs> and then that's taking like an hour or two to update because uh, <laughs> the big update. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm trying you. to tell you, I feel you on that, but like honestly, physical. And you got to think I, about the discounts come quick on physical. Uh, you're right about that for consoles. So. Yeah, yes, yeah. You, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna say. In um, not physical. Like physical is still dope. It's still cool to have this. Um, for some reason, I like having digital or physical for Switch more than I do Xbox and PlayStation. But mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm, I'm both, man. Some games too. I feel like yo, I gotta have physical. Like Smash Bros. I have to have a physical copy. Um, some games I don't. Do I feel you on that. To be honest, but there are some games that I'm like, yo, I need a physical copy. Pre-order that bitch. But then they charge me tax, and games about to be seventy dollars. Uh, you know, that's another reason why uh, I'm waiting. You know what? I'm chilling right now in these games. I still, I guess I gotta beat. I still gotta beat the PS4 games. Before I can even get the five. Yeah, my problem. Last with of that, Us too. My problem with seventy dollars games is a lot of free to play games come out like kind of shit on all the sixty dollar games, and I imagine yeah. that will keep happening. Yeah, I imagine yeah, that's gonna keep War happening. Warframe, Genshin Impact that just yeah. came out. Yo. Yo, a lot of these free games are pissing on like these. Oh, this game been projected to come out for like a year and a half, and you come out, it's poop. But then you, you know, you download one of these indie games that's that's like free, and it's great. Shit, these games, bro. Yeah, man. Yeah, they, they're more active. The community is more active too. Like the the um the creators, developers are way more active with you know bugs and patches and everything. So exactly, you, know, you get more consistent updates. Actually, that's not a bad topic, bro. Free to play games are becoming better than AAA games. Well, maybe we will we'll say that for next week, but we're gonna call Yo, it for real, bro. That's all the news we got. Um, again, if I miss anything y'all care about, hit me up in the comments. Uh, tell us what y'all think. Um, and I plan on people want more guests for this. I don't know what we'll see again. We'll see what this turns into. Um, but yeah, yeah, I see you looking at me. Well, I'm not looking at anybody. I'm looking at my camera. Yo, I'm a light skinned ghost boy. You see that? Hey. Yo, we got oh, that bitch. Lamb. Holla. <laughs>